The South East and the Chatham Railway was formed in 1899 and operated between London and the South East of England. In 1917, the company introduced the 80-ton K-Class 264 tank engine designed by Richard Molesall for express passenger trains in and out of London. In 1923, the South East and the Chatham Railway was grouped into the Southern Railway along with two other railway companies under the Rail Act of 1921. Following this, the 20 strong K class were redesignated the River Class and were given names of various rivers in the areas of England serviced by Southern Railway. They also gained the more ominous nickname of Rolling Rivers by their crews due to their tendency to roll at high speeds on bad track, where the locomotive would rock from side to side, which led to a number of minor derailments in early 1927. At 5pm on the 24th of August 1927, an express service left Cannon Street, London on its way to Deal in Kent. Consisting of eight coaches, including the Pullman car Carmen, the train weighed over 330 tonnes. This was hauled by locomotive number A800, River Cray, and was driven by the experienced engine driver WH Bus. At around 5.29pm the locomotive began to roll as it left Pole Hill Tunnel and it worsened as it passed Dunton Green Station. As it drew closer to the town of Sevenoaks, the locomotive's leading drive wheels became derailed at 55 miles per hour. Upon hearing the loud knocking noise of the wheels hitting the rail chest hold in the track, the driver shut off the regulator and applied the brakes, attempting to bring the train to a steady and controlled halt but the locomotive derailed completely as it passed over catch points just before the bridge carrying Shoreham Lane. After violently striking the bridge, the River Cray came to rest on its left-hand side, 112 yards from the catch points. The first three carriages also came into contact with the bridge and came to rest behind the locomotive, with the fourth partially crushed under the bridge and the remaining carriages piling on behind. In total, 13 people, mainly from the fourth carriage, were killed, and a further 131 injured, with 21 seriously. The locomotive's crew survived the crash, even though the fireman was rendered unconscious for two days by the force of the impact. An extensive investigation was conducted by Colonel Sir J. W. Pringle for the Ministry of Transport. In his conclusion, the derailment was caused by the locomotive's design and the track it was running on. The line in question was not of the highest quality in part due to inadequate trackside drainage and the choice of ballast material. Though it was noted that other locomotives had passed over the same track without any problems. As for the design, heavy tank engines are generally more susceptible to rolling at high speeds on bad track than their equivalent tender engines, due in part to their high water tanks giving a higher centre of gravity, but a number of the river class were even more susceptible. Testing with the River Cray sister engines after the disaster found that the newer locomotives with their lighter bearing springs rolled more at speed than older engines with harsher springs. In his conclusion, Colonel Pringle made several recommendations for the Southern Railway Company going forward. This included better drainage and permanent way on high speed lines, a speed limit for heavy tank engines on less developed lines, along with the fitting of harsher springs on the engines in question. Following the report's publication, the rivers were withdrawn from service and rebuilt as U-Class 260 tender engines. This included the River Cray, which lost its name and was renumbered as 1800 and ran until 1965 before being withdrawn and scrapped. Only one of the original K-Class survives today. River Torridge, now U-Class number 31806, is at this time of the video's release preserved and running on the Swanage Steam Railway.